Hello and welcome to day five. There are a few props that you'll need for today's practice. Uh, you'll need a yoga strap or something equivalent. Um, I've taken the longest yoga strap I have and I've looped it to make a big long loop. If you don't have a yoga strap, you could tie a couple um, scarves together or if you have a resistance band um, or just find a piece of rope, <laughs> whatever you've got. Um, so that's the first thing. The second thing, if you have it, um, two yoga blocks that are around the same size. Um, if you don't have the blocks, you can do it without the blocks. And then also um, the third and optional, um, but also a really nice option if you can find something um, similar to um, a sandbag. If you don't, well, I'm expecting most people probably don't have a sandbag, um, but you could get like a bag of rice something that's got a little bit of weight um, and that's probably, you know, approximately the same size. If you don't have something weighted, you could use, um, maybe get like a heavier blanket or a blanket that you can like kind of fold up that, that you can kind of feel, feel some heft. Okay. So if you need to put the video on pause and go grab those things, do that and then we'll come back and get started. Okay. So to begin, um, my invitation is for you to come into a comfortable seat. Um, it could be sitting on something on the floor. You could be sitting on a chair. Um, you could be standing on your knees. You could be standing on your feet. Again, coming into a position where you can feel comfortable. We're gonna be focusing uh, mostly on the arms to start. Then we're gonna bring in some more elements um, and explore control and coordination between our arms and our legs um, in relation to our spine and our breath. So let's, settle. Let's kind of come into ourselves first. Um, so wherever you are, let's bring some awareness into our body, maybe giving your legs a little bit of a rub, bringing some attention, to maybe some areas that we're not aware of at this moment. Maybe rubbing the arms or the torso. Just bringing some sensation into the limbs. The shoulders, maybe the back, and then when you're ready, softening the gaze or closing your eyes, and let's just take a few soft breaths together, inhaling through the nose and exhaling through the nose. If you're seated, sense your sitting bones against the surface. If you're in standing, feel the three points of your feet. Aware of each breath coming in and each breath going out. Settling into the natural rhythm of your breath. Maybe noticing where you feel the movement of your breath in your body. Three more rounds, just quietly and gently. And if the eyes are closed, gently fluttering them open. And let's begin to explore um, our first movement, which is going to be a preparation for eagle arms. So if you practice yoga, you might be familiar when the arms get all twisted up, um, something like this. So we're not gonna jump right into that because that's maybe not accessible to everyone. So let's just start bringing one arm forward and bending the elbow. And we're gonna use our opposite hand on the outside of the arm to find a gentle stretch. And so just know that as you bring your arm across, notice if the top of the shoulder lifts up towards your ear. And if it does, let it settle back down and then try it again, only going as far as the shoulder kind of stays level. It doesn't have to be an intense stretch. Maybe you don't feel a stretch at all. Be in a place where you can continue to breathe naturally and easily. And if you do feel a stretch sensation, notice where you feel it. If you're in sitting, keeping your sitting bones grounded. If you're in standing, keeping an even sensation through the three points of the feet. And then what we can do, I'm gonna keep my hand on my upper arm, just 
a little bit of resistance as I start to rotate my arm so my fingertips come towards the ceiling. And if it's hard to find that rotation of the arm, actually use your free hand and guide the upper arm. And now I've been doing this a lot, so my fingers come all the way up to um, 90 degrees really easily. But you might only come up partway. Maybe there's an experience of some discomfort in the shoulder or somewhere else. So maybe your range is a little bit smaller. So again, there's no right or wrong. There's no good or bad. We're all going to be in a different place. So depending on what you experience in your body, you're going to rotate to your end range where you can hold without discomfort and you can breathe with ease. And you might find that the arm comes a little bit out from the center of the body. I hold my arm quite far in, but you might be a little bit further out. Again, it doesn't matter. And then holding your arm, just apply some resistance between your upper arm and your hand. And continue to breathe softly. Then you can let the arm rotate back down and release. And then when you're ready, let's do the same thing on the other side, finding a gentle stretch without that shoulder creeping up towards the ear. Maybe sending your breath into the stretch sensation that you're experiencing, if you're experiencing that. And then releasing the the stretch, and then starting to explore rotating the arm up. And there's no set number of times you have to do this, but it'd be more of a curious exploration, like where can you rotate to what degree with ease? Can you stop before there's a pinching or a discomfort sensation if there is one? What happens if you move your arm out a little bit wider? Does that change the experience? What happens if you move your arm more towards the midline, towards the middle of your body? Does that change your experience? I know I can't rotate quite as far. And so in a place where you feel comfortable, go to the end of your rotation and then press your upper arm into your other hand. Breathing softly. Very good. And then to release, rotate down and let go. So now the next invitation is going to be moving into the full eagle arm. So if it's not available to you, repeat the same one that we just did. Okay. So rotating up, you can do that a couple times. Otherwise we're going to bring both arms out and then bend the elbows, crossing the upper arms and then rotating at the same time, both arms come up. Now the hands may not come together, but wherever your arms are contacted, you can press them together. If you have the rotational capacity, then maybe bring the palms towards each other. If you find that your breath is really strained or you're holding your breath, back up a little bit and maybe let the arms come apart. So we're going to hold here. Maybe noticing the stretch. You might feel some pull between your shoulder blades or along the sides of the shoulders. Maybe somewhere else. Again, no right or wrong. And then wherever you are, explore. Again, this is an invitation to explore. You don't have to do it. See what it starts to feel like to bring the arms up. Now we just want to move the arms. We're not arching the back or rounding the back. Maybe linking movement with breath. Inhaling the arms lift and exhaling the arms come back this a couple times and if it doesn't work for you skip it and then let's add on as you inhale the arms come up and slightly arch back and then as you exhale round your spine forward and the arms can kind of come down inhale lifting the arms arching the back and exhaling, rounding forward. So again, different movement. Now we're bringing flexion and extension into the spine as well as moving the arms. And notice what that feels like for you. Again, if it's not a good one, skip it. We'll do maybe one more of each. And then from center, 
we'll release our arms down gently and then just take a moment and notice what you feel through your arms, through your neck, through your back, through your chest. Notice your breath, how the breath feels. Nice. Okay. Next exercise, we're going to bring a little bit more strength into the arms. So if you have a block, we can use the block just to help um, figure out where we are in space. If you don't have a block, you can try it without the block. So we're going to set up two blocks side by side, about shoulder distance apart. I'm going to do it from the side so you can see the side angle. And then you're going to bring your forearms against the block. So the blocks are really just serving as a wall. And so we're on our hands and knees. So if hands and knees is not a good option for you, you can go to the wall um, and explore the wall push-ups that we did um, earlier this week. Or you can even tr maybe try this against the wall. So settle in here. We're going to keep a neutral spine, which means our spine's not going to round or arch. And the movement's coming from the hip and from the shoulder and the elbow. So the hips are going to start to come forward. So now the shoulders are going past the elbows. And at some point, you're not going to be able to go any further. So you're going to start to bend the elbows and then coming back. And looking down towards the floor as you do it. Keeping the forearms against the block, bending the elbows, and then coming back up. And so it might feel like you, you're going to face plant into the floor. Just keep the movement really small and go slow. Take pauses, take breaks in between each one. Coming forward, elbows bend, and coming back up. Notice how your abdomen responds without actually having to do anything there. And then take a break when you're ready. So that's a fun one to explore. You can really feel it in your arms and maybe in your forearms as well. All right, so let's give our arms a little break. Well, that's not completely true. We're gonna give them a little, a little-ish rest from the strength part. So we're going to come down to lying down, but have your strap handy. So strap in hand, coming down into a constructive rest, which means knees are bent and feet are hip distance apart. And just take a moment to settle. And then when you're ready, we're gonna take one end of the loop. And you're gonna loop it around your foot. Let's start with our right foot. And the other end of the strap is going to come around the wrists. So the arms are straight up in the air, elbows straight, and then the right leg is straight as well. And I'm going to keep my left knee bent. And we're going to coordinate the movements. I'm going to start to take my arms overhead. And my foot's caught in strap, so it's just following along. And then when I can't go any further, I'm going to start to reverse. So now my foot's pressing into the strap, and it's taking my arms a long way. And then to reverse, the arms or the wrists pull the leg. So we're coordinating the movement between our hip and our shoulder. Neutral spine, so I'm not going so far back that my ribs have to poke up or my back arches. I'm moving in a range where I can breathe with ease. Maybe the leg comes all the way down, maybe it doesn't. So you're just exploring. If you're going really quickly, notice what your experience is to go slower. If you're going very slowly, what is your experience to go a little bit faster? Let's do one or two more. And then Release your wrist, bend the knee, and release the strap. And then we can set up for the other side. If your arms need to have a little bit of a longer rest, take a break. But again, loop around your foot and your wrist. Knee straight, elbow straight. And then start to take the arms back. And then the foot moving away. 
getting a sense of what it feels like for your leg bone to be moving in the hip socket, for the upper arms to be moving in the shoulder socket. And simultaneously, right? So arms and legs moving together, maybe finding a gentle rhythm. Notice if you're moving with your breath, you don't have to, but maybe you just fell into that on your own. Notice how this side feels compared to the other side. How might you describe the difference or the qualities of the movement that you're experiencing? Does it feel smooth? Does it feel Movement feels sticky or muddy? Does it feel coordinated or uncoordinated? Or what other words might you use to describe it? One more. Okay. And release your wrist, bend the knees. And set your shoulder off to the side. Let's actually roll over to one side and come up to standing just for a moment. Just experience how you feel in standing after doing that. Notice how your feet connect with the ground. Feel your legs, your arms, your torso, not your breath. So let me just see how we're doing for time. Ooh, okay, we're at 17 minutes. So our last practice for today is going to be a twist. So I didn't mention, um, maybe you might want to use um, a pillow or a bolster. <laughs> so you've got it handy. Um, you can use it if not, don't worry. And we're gonna use our sandbag or our weights. Um, keep that up near where your shoulder is gonna be. So we're gonna lie back down into our constructive rest. And I am going to twist to the left. So have your sandbag on the right, and if you're using a pillow or a bolster, have that on your left side. And so I'm going to take the bol the sandbag, and I'm going to place it over my shoulder, my left, my right shoulder. Sorry, my right shoulder. And just take a moment to settle. Feel the back of the shoulder blades against the floor. Gentle breath. And then we're going to move our hips into a twist. So the upper body stays fixed. And you can either drop the legs over to the left, or you can lift the legs so the feet come off the floor, and then roll the pelvis over to the side. And so the purpose of the bolster or the pillow is to support the legs if they don't come all the way down to the ground. We don't want that right shoulder to lift off. So if it does lift off, just come back. Feel the weight on top of it, and then only go as far as it doesn't lift off. Hopefully that made sense. <laughs> and just let your breath be really soft and gentle here. Notice what you're experiencing. Where is their ease? Their ease in your breath arms, your shoulders, your belly, your jaw maybe, your hands, and then just for the sake of time today we're going to bring the legs back and release them down. And then we'll move our sandbag or whatever weight you're using over onto the left shoulder. Uh, maybe move your pillow over to the other side first. And as you get your weight situated across the front of your shoulder, settle, soft breath. Feel the back of your shoulder blades against the floor. Let your shoulders feel heavy. 
And then when you're ready, taking your pelvis and your legs over to the right. Soft, gentle breath. Maybe think of your shoulder blades and your arms as heavy. Sinking down, firmly grounded. Follow the movement of your breath as it comes in through the nose, and out towards the belly, and from the belly back up and out your nose. coming back to center, bring your feet onto the ground, you can slide the weight off your shoulder. If that felt really nice, feel free to repeat it again, hold for as long as you'd like. If you're ready to carry on with your day, um, let's come to sitting, palms together, and take a moment now just to honor your mini practice today. It's so important that we Take out time, even if it's for 15 or 20 minutes, to ground ourselves, to experience a little bit of personal self-awareness. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and I look forward to joining you tomorrow.